Hey, what's up, guys? It, uh, yeah, I just got over here to Montana. Pretty stinking excited. Um, got parked. And I got a pretty good idea of my plan in the morning, so I'm pretty excited. Um, I got some hot, hot intel that there were some bulls in this basin, so I'm gonna get up in here super, super early, get on a glassing knob, and see if I can't find anything. But uh, yeah, this should be cool, guys. Stay with. I'm gonna bring you guys along, document this whole thing. So God bless you guys. Hopefully, the Lord's with me, and uh, I can kill a bull solo. We'll catch you soon. Bye. Hey, uh, pretty cool. <sighs> Been hiking since four. Um, I gotta say, this is one of the more difficult, uh, like morning ups I've done in a long time. Um, all the snow in the bottom was drifted, so it was all is flat down there, but flat bar was walking through shin to knee high deep snow so it was just like a crazy hip flexor workout all morning but the cool thing is is uh, obviously smoke there's two cows out uh, here on this open ridge I'm gonna sit here and watch them for a while make sure they're by themselves but uh most of the major elevations out of the way. Time to get up here. You can see we got still got some ups, but uh, it's mostly, you know, that kind of elevation here now. So I was hoping to get a little bit higher in glass, but you know, coming up through here, up on an open country like this, there's a lot, and uh, the elk aren't necessarily in the timber. Uh, these ones are showing. These ones are on a wide open ridge feeding on the uh <coughs> the snow blows off the top of the ridges so that's where the elk guard feed but i can shoot a cow here but uh i think i'll wait i really like to kill a bull anyway stay tuned well seeing some elk so that's good but I think I kind of made the classic first day overextend yourself mistake. Um, saw a couple of cows with first light way over on the other side. And then um, spent all that effort to climb all the way up that ridge so that I could glass down into this basin. And it paid off because I saw another batch of cows and I saw a really nice bull. Um, but when I came back down I kind of watched him go in the timber I thought alright well I'll work my way back down and man I got too much stuff in my pack um, I don't know I don't, some of the stuff I don't know why I brought it you know you get super excited bring too much crap but uh, got down the hill and was going to head over there and there's another group um, it was camped just down the way from me and by the time I got down here they might they must have seen the same bull that I did or something because they're working right over in the direction that uh, I was gonna head so they're already in there and that was kind of a play so it looks like I'm a day late I found another bull that had been shot or a you know, dead bull carcass so I don't know one of those deals day late on this spot I guess so I'm gonna hike back to the truck and I don't know I'm gonna give this spot to these guys it's too small of a spot for four different you know a bunch of different people in here there's at least three of them and me yeah, it's too many people I don't I don't want to deal with that so I'm gonna go back to the truck um gonna make myself some coffee that takes some ibuprofen and uh I'm gonna go to another spot anyway that's that. Good luck, Ralph. It's all nice six point. Tell some cows. Dress like a pumpkin. We love it. Alright, bye. Well, 
<laughs> I don't know. I'll wrap that up as a successful first time. I uh, hiked a really long ways, climbed 2,000 feet of elevation, packed way too much stuff in my bag. Like, I can't figure out why I felt like I needed to pack my spotter and tripod for <laughs> trips from the truck for elk when I roll with 12 by 50 binoculars. I don't know. One of those deals, it's not going with me on the next hike. So, pared it all down, <laughs> cut my weight down about half. So, I don't know. It ought to be a little better. Uh, yeah, but. Stay tuned, I'm gonna switch spots. I'm gonna run to the store up here. I gotta buy some ibuprofen. My body is going. Kyle, you can't sit around a boat all the time and then think you're about to go. But anyway, that's how that went. So yeah, camp, we're mobile. I'm gonna go find a new spot. Just a group that got, group that I thought had the whore hat that was in here actually is in here with horses. They they killed a bull yesterday, obviously. Um, there's elk in there. The group that I saw that kind of got around, got to where I wanted to be first, um, they're a different group. So that's three different groups of people in there. So, I don't know. It's way too small of a spot for that. I'm all right if it was a big mountain range. I kind of the old trailhead, but it's too small. So. I'm gonna move, we'll go find some more spots. Andrew, uh, it's awesome when you have buddies that live places that just send you Onyx pins for every single one of their spots. It's amazing. Grace, man, gracious, it's incredible. Hey, God's doing work out there, guys. Just gotta open your eyes for it. Anyway, catch you guys later, bye. Good morning. Hey, it's, uh, what is it, Wednesday? Or Thursday, the 27th. Yeah, it's uh, just about shooting light here. I'm not quite where I need to be at, but I feel pretty good about my timing. It's the first time I've ever been in here. So yesterday, after bailing out of that spot, I, I drove around and checked all the, the map pins uh, that I had, spots out. And, you know, after doing that, I just kind of I figured that this was this was definitely my best uh, my best option. So I uh, there were some guys that uh, had the truck in yesterday, but today their camp was there and they had goats, and uh, they'd shot two bulls in here yesterday. So it sounds pretty awesome. So talked to them for a little bit this morning just to make sure I wasn't going to screw up their hunt, and found out they're just packing out one more bull. Uh, so they had they had packed in with a camp and so uh which is a really sweet way to do things but anyway i'm gonna slide up in here and uh see if i can't find an elk um yeah at least a nice bull or i'd take a decent buck too but yeah anyway guys the lord has blessed us with another beautiful day so Keep walking. Wish me luck. Got a track of a single bull here. He's working his way up this ridge, so man, couldn't have asked to find anything better than that. I love nothing more than finding a fresh track in the snow. Hopefully, I can find this guy. I shouldn't be too far ahead of me. It's not every day you get to be in country like this. Yesterday or the day before they packed them out. I don't I don't know. They had camp but with the goats. That guy's in way better shape than I am. He just marched right up the mountain. But it's awesome. This big bull here in front of me. I'm just gonna work my way up this ridge. There's tracks, there's elk tracks going up the other ridge. There was that single bull track that went up here. I'm hoping I get up here and I figure out that I'm going in a different direction. Guys are going with uh, 
let those go to be cut off. This way, they're going straight up, but I'm gonna keep going straight up. So, yeah, there's elk in here. You should find them. Stay tuned. What's up, guys? That's uh, oh, around two ish, a little after that. Might even be more like no, I think it's almost three. But uh, just kind of hanging out. I was way up there toward the top of the mountain. And uh, it was freaking cold and windy. So dropped back down a little bit. I've got the nice things about the fresh snow is you, there's elk tracks. You can see them on the ridges and stuff. And so there's a spot here behind me where there's definitely some fresher tracks. And so I'm just kind of hanging out over here, a little bit out of the wind, and uh, just giving myself a little bit of a break. I'm going to pop back over around that corner here just a little bit and see if I can't see anything. But uh, yeah, new spots, everything's new. Just got to give everything the time it deserves. No instant gratification around here. Anyway, God bless you guys. Hey, what's up? Uh, it's the morning of day three. So yesterday kind of ended fairly uneventfully. Um, I was on the mountain there and I got all the way up. There's a big saddle at like 9,200 feet. And I got all the way up there and the wind was blowing so hard that it was so cold that my hands, I don't know if you've ever had that, like your hands get so cold that you feel like you're gonna puke but that's what happened. So I dropped off the mountain a little bit, um, kind of down on, you know, I mean, maybe a couple hundred feet, not very far. Got out of the wind and got warmed up. And I just kind of, it was so cold that, I mean, I, you know, you think of glass and go, hey, you're gonna like sit down, get all your stuff out, look over these spots. Yeah, right. It was so cold that I had to like, I just paced back and forth. I went and there was snow so it's not like you know there was a bunch of snow and there's no wood up there so it's not like you build a fire so I uh, I just was pacing back and forth and then I'd go from one side of the ridge glass out for a while go back over the other glass out for a while but um, really all I did was kind of figure out a plan um, it was good to be up in there it was the first time I'd ever been in that area so kind of having a scout and hunt all at the same time. So day three is today, and um, I've got a pretty good plan. There's, there's a ridge kind of up the middle in there that hasn't doesn't look like there's been any people on it, and there was fresh elk tracks yesterday after the snow. We kind of went up that ridge and tucked over. There's a bowl back up in there, and I think, I think that's where at least some elk, there was elk that went up my ridge. There, there, was, a, there was a lone bull that went up my ridge. And, I tried tracking him for a while, but um, after those guys with the goats, they went up with the goats to pack out some bulls they'd shot on the backside. Um, after those guys had packed the, had gone up through there with goats, I uh, I kind of lo I lost that track after a while. But uh, anyway, I think he'd been you know maybe pretty late the night before. But it looks like these elk, at least from what I can tell, at least some of them, they're feeding down low in the morning and then they're working their way up probably sometime before daylight. So I've got to just kind of get up in there and just see if I can get them sort of figured out. But uh, yeah, new plan today. So we'll see how that goes. Got my coffee going. It's 12 degrees, so. Although I've been really, really pleasantly surprised with how well I've been able to sleep in that Alp zero degree bag that I have, down bag. Um, you guys are wanting to do this kind of stuff don't skimp on your sleeping bag because my goodness does it make a huge difference i actually had to just crawl in there with your clothes on but i actually had to like open up my zips and dump heat last night and pull my hats off so that keep me from sweating so but anyway yeah back at it so see how this goes check in with you guys later well i'm up here you can see there are ways 200 feet something like that 
but uh, the wind is just ripping on these ridges. But across the way, I'm kind of trying to glass into that timber for at least a little while. Stay here as long as I can until it's too cold. But yeah, if I can't uh, find something a little bit more promising here, I'm gonna hike. way up in there if I don't if I don't get into anything promising I'm gonna bail out of here and see if I can find a different spot but uh yeah that's what's going on catch you guys later well I'm up here on what feels like top of the world the only problem is it's not very much junk sign oh there's definitely been a couple of bulls in here I mean it snowed two days ago, so at least two days ago there was a couple of bulls, but I haven't seen any fresh sign. So that's two days, two different sides of this base, and I haven't seen any fresh sign. So I'm gonna take that as a, a clue, and uh, I'm gonna bail out of this spot. I don't know. It's almost noon. It's gonna take me a couple hours to get back down to the truck, but. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get the truck and head on over to the other side over there. Some of that stuff you see behind me and see if I can't find, I'm gonna go probably pull my tent and uh, see if I can't find a good spot to be in the morning for Saturday morning. So yeah, it's all part of the journey. It's the fun part, being in a new country and trying to figure it out. I kind of have a feeling I'm here during what I would imagine it's about the hardest time of the season. <sighs> it's after opening day, a week after. Um, not enough snow to really push the elk out of anywhere. So, yeah. I don't know. Living and learning. I'm just trying to kill an elk here in Montana. So, anyway, stay tuned. Hopefully, hopefully something happens. But uh, yeah, I think it's time to change spots. Two days in here and nothing. So, all right, stay tuned. Bye. Well, it's 5.30 and uh, I've moved spots. But, we'll have to see. Got a decent little spot below me here where I could shoot some if it walked up here. And then, also, come glass in this big country. A little bit better. There. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I can at least glass something up, get it on the phone scope. But, uh, if not, it's a beautiful way to spend the evening out here in God's creation. So, let's hope we turn something up. Well, Finally found an elk. It's a cow. All by herself, it appears like. But it's an elk. And uh, after the couple of days I've had, I would be absolutely tickled to bring home some delicious cow meat. At this point I'm just incredibly excited to be seeing an elk. I'm about out of light here, but uh, definitely a little bit of excitement. At least I saw an elk today. Saw a couple more deer too, but uh, I guess I'll saunder on down out of here and uh, go link up with Andrew. He knows this country pretty well, so he may have a little bit better plan than me. I know my plan would be 
figure out how to get that cow because tomorrow's Saturday and I have till Sunday to hunt. Well, all day Sunday. So I was told to bring home meat, so I better bring home some meat. Anyway, guys, thanks for being with me. Bye. All right, it's day four. Four, it's elk kill day. Today is Saturday, so um, Saturdays. So there's gonna be a lot of people around. Saw that cow last night, I'm not gonna go in there. There were so many people driving that other road and um, really just all over the place in there that I'm gonna kinda just leave that alone. Uh, I've got some pins up a little bit higher, kind of in the same drainage. Um, not really, but I'm gonna run up there today and uh, just hike in blindly. I've, I've never been up there. Uh, they look like places that, that should have some elk in them. And uh, it looks to me like you can't, there's, there's no ability to just drive the road. So, well, you can drive the road to get there, but doesn't, once you go up, I don't think there's any way to drive it. So, try to, try to get away from Charlie. But uh, yeah, there we go, guys. So hopefully there's some action today. Chat with you later. God bless. Bye. Well, finally got up here. Um, quite a little drive up this other road to get up here, but uh, we'll go that way in the dark. Um, never being up here before, I don't exactly know where I'm headed. But um, I know that I'm gonna go up, and I should be able. This should be good up here. There's not nearly as many camps on this road. There's not just. There's just not as many people. So we'll see. There is. There is a, a single rig camped back down here. But I don't know. Everybody's got um, covered side by side ATV type trailers. So. They're either sleeping in them in their snowmobile trailers or they're hauling uh, quads and stuff with them and maybe they're just gonna ride around. I don't know, it's hard to know. So I'm not gonna assume, I'm gonna go hiking and I'm gonna go hunting. So stay tuned, this shoot. Hopefully this is good, hopefully there's elk up here. Any legal elk at this point is going down. But anyway guys, we'll see you in a minute. and it goes up there. Um, this point kind of gives me a place to look over all of it. And bonus on the way up, I saw a fair amount of deer tracks. So, you never know, maybe big old buck will step out. That'd be sweet. But, uh, yeah. Whew. Pretty excited. Hopefully at least get some eyes on something today. This feels a lot better. <sighs> Not such a bad hike to just get to a glass and God that I, that I could actually get here before first light <laughs> the last couple of days. The spots I was going into, I could just hardly, it took everything I could just to get to elevation to be able to glass. I'd honestly been better off um, backing off of those ridges that I was trying to hike and just glassing them. You know, but uh, I don't know. Some of these lessons die hard. Sometimes it's better to sit back and, and look than it is to actually go in. You gotta find them first. But anyway, we'll see how this works out today. So, wish me luck. Well, back down here at the truck. I don't know. Didn't see hardly any elk sign. Glassed up there for a while. Felt really good about that spot, but there's deer in there. Um, at least a few. So I don't know. I don't know at all. I don't know 
what I'm doing wrong, but I'm just going to keep hunting. Um, I, I kind of feel like maybe I'm hunting too high. I don't know. I'm used to at home a lot of times needing to go high. You go high up the mountain and you find those elk pretty high. But here, I don't know. I don't know if this early snow, I mean, it's only the end of October. There's really not that much snow. I don't know if it pushed them down a little bit. I can't imagine. I don't know. Or they just don't live up that high in this area. I don't know. Maybe they're living just above the private ground. So I don't know. I know that's the area that we are tree hunted in. That's uh, that's what happened. They were they were spending all night on the flat, and then they were coming up into the public. But the only reason they were coming up there is that's where the bedding habitat was. So I don't know. I don't know. I gotta I'm gonna go try to link up with Andrew. We somehow missed each other last night. I'm sure he's not happy. Um, I don't know why he couldn't find me, but. Um, anyway, he drove around looking for me. I finally got service up there on top, so at least we connected, know each other, are alive. So, but yeah, so I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna tear down camp. I gotta get, uh, I gotta go get some diesel, and then figure out a plan. So I don't know. Go hunting. That's all I know. Figure out. Go try something different. Maybe hunt some lower ground. I really don't know at this point. I'll shoot any any legal elk, and I'm pretty sure I'll shoot any legal deer. So, oh, it'd be nice to at least bring home some meat on this deal, hunting hard. But anyway, it's only day four. Tomorrow's day five. So, one time at home, I hunted nine days in a row without seeing an elk, and then on day, well, I guess it was day nine, killed one. So, sometimes it takes a while. <sighs> Fighting the mental game now. Anyway. Chat to you guys later. Well, it's the bottom of the ninth inning. Andrew and I are gearing up. We saw we drove over to an entirely different unit miles away. And uh, yeah, we're gonna run up here see if we can't get one of these. This could be good or it could be bad. Who knows? <laughs> well. As you can see, I just got a little buck. Um, I was headed home. I was dejected, well, not dejected, just bummed uh, that I couldn't bring some meat home from this long trip for my family and, you know. So luckily the Lord had these deer run across the, the road here as I was as I was headed out and they ran up on the hill and I followed them up a little ways and this little forked horn gave me a shot. So I took it and uh, I am gonna bring some meat home for my family. Um, you know, this trip has been, this is just icing on the cake. And you know, this little buck, it means a lot to me. It's, uh, I, I came over here, I don't know the area um i'm not much of a rifle elk hunter and i thought you know what let's go for it i have a really good buddy andrew who i hunted with the last couple of days who helped me out a ton giving me a lot of ideas and places to go and i made a lot of mistakes i uh i hiked too much i should have glassed more um i should have spent more time trying to figure out where the elk were instead of worrying about hunting certain spots that's something that i think moving forward um, especially in, in these places that I've never been to, um, especially that have a lot of fair amount of access and places you can glass from. I'm going to spend a lot more time just trying to flat out locate elk and then um, obviously hunting them after I locate them. But the Lord has blessed me. I'm super thankful with this buck. I'm going to go home with, uh, with a little buck that is gonna be absolutely devoured by my family. We are, oh man, venison is like our absolute favorite. So we love it. Um, we were starting to run low, so this is pretty cool. That it, uh, it takes a lot for my family for to allow me to be able to come do these things and go on these adventures. And I'm just super, super thankful. And uh, yeah, this deer, he's not a big buck at all. Um, actually probably one of the but not he's the second smallest buck i've ever shot but you know what he's mine and he's coming home and 
that meat on our table is going to be delicious and it's mountain grown protein and it's incredible and uh, the lord has definitely blessed us with this little buck and uh he's gonna go home and eat well so anyway guys i can't believe that people actually want to watch this stuff um i was thinking today how kind of down i was gonna be on my final you know little report here but uh the Lord works in mysterious ways. Driving out, I put this vest on one more time. I thought, well, shoot, if something runs across this road on my way out of camp, then hey, maybe I can, maybe I can take some meat home. And oh my gosh, it happened. So anyway, guys, God bless you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoy this. If uh, you're willing to sit and watch um, a guy's daily documented hunting trip. You know, um, I think that's absolutely incredible. It's more than I could ask for. So thank you guys for sticking through the whole way of watching. I appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, I've got some Idaho hunts coming up next. So back home to Idaho and uh, we're gonna see if I can't get her done with the muzzleloader again and uh, white tails and yeah. Yeah, the white tail hunts will start getting the kids involved. And yeah, so it's awesome. Anyway, guys, appreciate you guys so much. Uh, the, Lord is, the Lord is amazing and he gives. And uh, thank you, thank you guys. Anyway, we'll catch you guys later. Watch out for more Steelhead reports. Bye.